we'd like to find a connection, a connection between the two parshas that we'll read this Shabbos, Parshas HaChodesh and Parshas Vayakel. And in Parshas Vayakel, in a very atypical way, we find an interruption between all the parshas that are dedicated to the building of the Mishkan and the Mishkan of Shabbos. And the parsha opens up with Sheshis Yomim Te'ose Melocha. Why Te'ose Melocha? It should have said, as it says elsewhere, Ta'avod or Ta'ase Melocha. The concept of Kiddush Hazman means that we have the ability to sanctify time. And that's why we create through the Chodesh, three Regolim. It's our initiative. It's our power. We say, Makadish Yisrael Vazman. And in fact, Aliyah Laregel is all our efforts, our Misa, our initiative. The building of the Mishkan, like Kiddush HaZman, is Kiddush HaMokom. We sanctify a place. We dedicated an ear market for HaKadosh Baruch. We build a house and we invite him. We do 39 categories of Malacha. This Malacha represents our creative ability. And now we can invite HaKadosh Baruch Hu down because we've created Kiddush HaMokom a sanctity of space. Shabbos comes along with the opposite message. Don't think that you're such a big shot. There's one day of the week that you have to be passive. And in truth, you are really passive the whole week. It's always te awesome. It's HaKadosh Baruch It's Kocho. It's his Koch, not Kochi V'yotzim Yod. And here we understand why at this juncture, Moshe Rabbeinu interrupts the flow of the parshas. Yes, we're building the Mishkan. We've done so in Parshios. Ruma and Tetzave, and now we'll continue in Vayakil Pkuda, but in the middle comes Parshas Kitiso, and we violate our ability, we abuse our ability of creation, and we create instead of Zara, we create an Ego. And now Moshe Rabbeinu wants to set, set us straight and send us on the path to Tshuva, and therefore he commands us in the midst of Shabbos Te'ose, recognize your limits. Yes, you have a glorious ability to create and to sanctify, and to do malacha, but it's really teyasa. Acknowledge that it's really God. It's his koach. And now we can dedicate all as our efforts and all our creative malachas for the sake of fulfilling his will, not our will. And that's how we are projected towards tshuva. Yeratzo, may we take the message of both Dantif and Mishkan, on the one hand, the greatness and the glory of man, but on the other hand, the message of Shabbos, that everything is really HaKadosh Baruch and we should dedicate all our efforts and all our will towards fulfilling His great will. And if we do so, in Mirza Hashem, we'll be Zoha to the Karben Pesach, and to Yemos HaMashiach, and to Chaga Pesach. Hei Yiratzon. Amen. Wishing you a great deal of Hatzlacha in your preparation for Chaga Pesach. Thank you so much.